everybody. I hope you're doing really well. I have a story to read to you today all about space. And I know some of the children in year one are learning about this at the moment. And it's called the Space Race. The most exciting place in the world for Jack and Josh was the Space Lab. Their dad worked there and today they were allowed to visit. Whoosh! Vroom! Went the rocket from the launch pad. Wow, cried Josh as he walked behind his dad. That's amazing. Wouldn't it be cool if we could be real astronauts, said Jack, as he followed his little brother and dad inside. Dad was busy as he and he disappeared into the laboratory. Jack looked round and pointed at a door that said, rocket testing, do not enter. He gave a wicked grin and opened the door. Inside was an incredible rocket. Jack climbed into it. I wonder what this does, he asked, pressing a big green button. No, don't cry, Josh, but it was too late. There was a deep rumble and the rocket engines had started. <gasps> With a thunderous roar, the rocket shot up into the sky. It zoomed super fast up through the clouds and into space. Josh and Jack were amazed. They whizzed past meteorites, they sped past space, spacecrafts, faster and faster. But what if they couldn't get back to Earth? Jack saw a big red button. Please don't press it, cried Josh. What if it blows the ship up or ejects us into space? There's only one way to find out, said Jack. He pressed the button. Jack and Josh closed their eyes. Suddenly, the rocket stopped and it began to descend. The rocket landed with a soft thunk on a purple planet. Then everything went strangely quiet. Let's explore, said Jack. So they put on spacesuits and stepped out of the rocket doors as they swished open. Outside, the purple planet was covered with weird blue plants. They looked harmless enough, said Josh, stepping forward. Suddenly, a long blue tentacle reached out and grabbed his arm. Jack tried to help Josh. Just then, its large red eyes sprouted from the end of the other tentacles. A slimy mouth opened, and in the middle of the plant, it's an alien, cried Josh. A tentacle grabbed Jack. Gurgling creatures gathered around. They dragged them into a huge cave. Jack and Josh struggled and kicked, but it was no good. Where are they taking us? Josh asked desperately. I don't know, replied Jack, but I don't want to think that it's anywhere good. The creatures stopped in front of what looked like a huge rock. It was covered in blue slime. Suddenly, two red eyes and a huge mouth opened wide. Uh-oh, said Jack. I think we're about to be dinner. Josh quickly looked on looked on the spacesuit. It had a big yellow button on it. I don't know what this yellow button does, but it's our only hope, said Jack. They both pressed the button. There was a loud roaring sound. They activated jetpacks fitted into the suits. Suddenly, Jack and Josh whirled into the air. They twisted and turned and then shot out of the cave at full speed. Hurry, cried Jack. They're behind us. Jack and Josh whoosh, whoosh through the open doors of the rocket and shut them quickly. Behind them, the angry creatures stretched out their tentacles. Quick, said Josh, push the green button. Jack slammed the button as fast as he could. There was a rumble and a roar and the rocket blasted off in a shower of sparks. Phew, that was close, said Jack. The rocket hurtled through space all the way back to Earth. Josh pressed the red button and they landed safely back at the space lab. Amazingly, no one had even noticed they had gone. Outside, them. there you are, he said. I hope you've had an exciting time. Oh, yes, said Josh, smiling at Jack. It's been out of this world. And if you look very closely, I think they brought a little friend home with them without realising. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.